Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan and today I'm going to show you guys how I do my closure sew-ins. The hair we are using today is from VIP Beauty. It is Indian Water Wave in inches 22, 24, 26 with the 18 inch closure. I moisturized the clan's hair using Prima Nature Oil Moisturizer and now I have put edge control along her part to define her part. I will now place the closure on my client's head and I will get her to help me hold it in place and I will just use this as a guide to see where I want my braids to stop. Now I am going to braid straight down from the part and we will be connecting each braid into the next. Dices on the beat. Dice is on the beat.
Now I want to take my needle and thread and sew her last braid onto her head. Dice is on the beat. Now we're going to take our concealer and place it directly on the client's natural part. This will give a perfect scalp illusion underneath the lace closure. And before you ask, this concealer does not irritate the client's scalp or cause any problems. You would just want to wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo after you take down your install to get rid of all the necessary product buildup. Do not forget to moisturize your client's scalp. This is so important. The oil of choice I am using today is the Wild Growth Oil. I will also be misting Prima Nature's Leave-In Conditioner for added moisture. Now you're going to place your closure a little bit in front of the hairline and you're going to get your client to help you hold it in place. We will now anchor the closure down on both sides. Dice is on the beat. Now you will continue sewing down the closure. Make sure you stretch it while you are sewing because you do not want any lumps or any bumps. You want your closure to lay flat. Dice is on the beat. Now we're going to part off a small section in the front and get your client to pull it forward while you sew down the back of the closure. This is so the closure does not shift.
Now we're going to secure the front of the closure. As you can see, I take the needle through the closure underneath the braid sideways and this will anchor your closure flat in the front. Dice is on the beat. As you can see, that closure is going nowhere. No glue needed. Now we're going to get our closure out the way and we're going to prepare to sew our bundles in. I will sew my first track underneath the braid just in case my client wants to put her hair in the ponytail. Her braids will not be shown. Dice is on the beat. Done sewing in all her bundles. We're gonna take our lot of body mousse and we're going to mow her hair in the dark. 
direction that we want it to flow. Dice is on the beat. on the I've added these pin curl clips to make sure her hair is laying flat around her part while she goes up under the dryer. Dices on the beat. She will sit under a hooded dryer on high for 10 to 15 minutes. She is now back from the dryer and we're going to comb her mold out. We're now going to proceed to pluck her part to give her more natural look. I will now take my Andy's Preston comb and make sure her hair is laying flat around her part. I will now take my guy to be glued, blasting free spray, and having flowers.
dice is on the beat. I will now take some more of that lot of body mousse and be very generous and I'll place it all over the hair and run my fingers through it and make those curls and waves pop again. I will now take my Beyond the Zone, turn up the heat spray and give her hair a nice gloss and I will take some more of that concealer and define her part even more. As you can see my client is laid and slay and she is definitely feeling herself. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe and turn on your notification bell. More information will be listed in the description box below. Thank you. Goodbye. Dice is on the beat.